Hey, good after, yes, it's afternoon. It's not morning. Um, usually I'm doing these in the morning, so um, uh, I'm switching around my schedule a little bit with yoga and everything that Catherine and I are doing. So um, good good afternoon, you guys. This is Tony Van Schoik. Um, I want to talk to some uh, about something that keeps coming to light more and more and more. Um, and I've seen a lot of this happen on Instagram and LinkedIn. Um, not so much Facebook, but you know, it still happens. So I want to talk about two different things. Um, number one, if you're sending out random spammy messages to people that you don't know, stop. Stop doing it right now. Um, it's going to give you a bad reputation. They're not going to think of you very highly, and it gives our industry a crappy reputation. So the first thing is, is that don't do that. I'm, I'm going to show you how to reach out to people that you don't know on social media. Um, but, uh, you know, the first thing is, is that on your personal profile, I have mentioned this before, you will rarely see me post a flash sale or a special. Um, if it's really good, I might do one or two a month, a month, not a week. Everybody already knows I do Monate. It's in my description. I don't try to hide anything. Um, I think that's a waste of time, to be honest with you. Um, the other thing is, too, is that on your personal profile, be genuine and tell stories, okay? You want to tell stories of what's going on. Tell a story of a before and after. Tell a story of somebody that had success in this business. Tell your story. Um, so the, the one thing is, is that, you know, with people especially that you don't know, do not send them messages and don't try to pitch them about your business. Not on any social media platform. It does not work. And I will tell you, I get pitched at least 10 to 20 times a week. And Instagram and LinkedIn, they're the worst. Um, but here's the best part, okay? If you know, okay, the one thing is, is that I will respond to each and every single person that responds to me in that capacity where they're trying to pitch me on their business in a message. And I'll say, hey, look, I really appreciate your tenacity and your passion. However, you're doing it the wrong way. I say, if you want to sign up with my elite, amazing team, then I will teach you how to do it the right way, how to utilize social media so you can bring in more people to your business. And I will tell them right away. I said, and I tell them, I said, you don't ever want to try to pitch somebody on your business in a message and especially people that you don't know. And I tell them, I say, take it from a professional. And so um, they always respond back. They're going to respond back usually one of a few ways. Number one, they're going to get defensive, okay, which means that they're not willing and, and to be open to learn. And I, I ask them, I said, have you checked my profile? Do you have any idea of where I am or what I do or how large my organization is? And you know what? I know that's not going to say the same for everybody, but on my LinkedIn profile specifically, it says I am not open to opportunities. So, you know, the thing about it is, is that people will see how many followers that you have. They'll see um, how many friends that you have. They'll see how many connections that you have. And then they just start messaging you. And I will accept them because nine times out of 10, they're, and especially on LinkedIn, they're going to pitch me on their business. And um, I had this guy pitch me uh, three days ago. And he's like, you know, you, you really need to take a look at the fastest growing uh, direct sales company in the world. And I was like, you know what? You're not even being truthful. Number one, you have to be truthful when you're trying to talk to somebody. So here's the thing. When you're checking out, check the person's profile. If you have connected with them or they're following you or following them, you can set up an auto autoresponder on Instagram. And I do it. And I just say, hey, super glad we connected. Um, you know, I'm a mom. I'm, I, I love to speak. Um, I just authored my first book. And I love what I do. Tell me more about yourself. Be genuinely interested. But you guys, I respond to every single person. And sometimes I get... 20, 25 messages a day, but I start building that relationship. I start building that trust with them. Um, also, too, see what's going on in their lives. See what they're about. Um, a lot of times people will message you back, but, you know, and especially if they say, hey, pretty lady, boy, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous. I'm like, you're blocked because... Uh, I'm not on here to create relationships like that, and it's usually men to women. It's not the other way around, so um, I just don't even deal with that at all. 
Um, I always want to connect with them on that relationship building expectation. How can I serve them? How can I help them? Because when I come at them from that attitude, you're automatically building a relationship of trust. Um, Does it take longer? Yes. And you know what? I have seen where people are actually being taught in our own company how to send out these random messages of 10 to 20 a day and you cut and paste there's 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 no genuine there. We we don't ever want to be that spammy company. Um, there was a company that used to create groups and without asking. And this is when you know Facebook was much more prevalent. And I still have that happen where they add you to groups. Um, you know whether it's a beauty group, a skincare group, a makeup group, or whatever. And they're pitching another company and they don't even ask your permission. You are no longer my friend on on social media anymore. Um, Uh, And then always, you know what, if there is an interest, just say, hey, would you be interested in hearing more information? You can do that through message. You can do that through text. But ultimately, you guys, at the end of the day, we got to get them on the phone. We got to get them on the phone and get them in front of those three ways. Um, And then um, the other thing is, too, is that if you have done this in the past and you haven't got a response, send them an apology. Say, hey, you know what? I didn't know what I didn't know. Could I have a do-over? I'm super excited about this. And it may or may, you know, may not be a right fit for you, but you might know of someone. You know, if, if you've done that and if you've offended people, just say, hey, I didn't know what I didn't know. I'm learning. Can I have a do-over? Okay, and you guys, honestly, when you really are transparent and you admit that you're learning, we make mistakes, we fumble through it, but I'm going to tell you, I don't care how big, how great, how awesome social media is, you still, to this day and age, just like what Christy Hines trained on a few days ago for us, you have got to have the personal touch. You have got to be face-to-face. You have got to be on the phone and doing in-person meetings on a regular basis. You cannot work your business on social media alone. And I will remit, and you guys, it's been like that since social media, media started. Heck, there are even companies that will not even allow their um, consultants, their reps, to put things on social media. And that is a, that's, that's a disadvantage to them because you got to teach them the right way how to do it. My way is slower. I'm okay with that. I want to build relationships where people know, like, and they trust me most of all because it's going to carry on a lot further. I'm not the one that says, okay, let me see if I can reach out to 20 people a day. You know what? I can get two of them to sign up. That, t- that, that to me doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, it just doesn't, especially to people that I don't know, and I do not want to use social media as a tool like that. It's my personal opinion. It's and and again, I'm right. So um, I'm going to call it like it is. You guys, you have to use social media as a tool. You have to use it as a way to build relationships first and foremost before you go sell somebody something. All right, you guys. Um, thank you so much for being on today. I love you all. Uh, if you're watching it, you know, hit live, show me some hearts. Uh, if it's on the replay, hit hashtag replay, but you guys, I'm going to put this up on my YouTube channel because you know, to me, I think this is a really, really important component that a lot of network marketers miss. And a lot of, a lot of people are being taught the wrong way to do it. All right, you guys take care. Love you all. Happy 2019. And, uh, so far January is off the charts with all the specials that we have. So make sure that you're utilizing those, the best, the ability to your business. All right, you guys take care and I love you all. Bye-bye.